we will use the student version of ANSYS to perform the simulation. First we need to download and install it. It is freely available and no registration is required. But we have to download a large file of about 6 GB in size. After installing ANSYS on your computer, start the workbench. On my computer I have version 2019 installed. Most probably yours is version 2020. In the workbench, you will see that ANSYS can do much more than CFD. For example, many engineers use it to perform structural mechanics simulations using the finite element method. ANSYS comes with two different CFD software, CFX and Fluent. Both are general purpose CFD software, but CFX is mostly used in the turbo machinery community. Fluent is the most widely used commercial CFD software in the industry. Here we will use Fluent. In the toolbox, under Analysis Systems, find Fluid Flow Fluent, and drag and drop it on the project schematic. A Fluent project is composed of many parts, such as, Geometry, Mesh and Setup. We'll start with the Geometry. Right-click the Geometry cell and select Properties. Change the Analysis Type from 3D to 2D. To draw the problem Geometry, double-click the Geometry cell to open Space Claim, which is a CAD software that comes with ANSYS. In Space Claim, First click on the Select New Sketch Plane button and select the XY plane to draw the 2D problem geometry. Then click on the Z axis at the bottom left of the screen to look at the XY plane vertically. Select Rectangle in the menu. Locate the lower left corner of the square outer box of the problem domain at the origin. While holding the mouse button and dragging the cursor, Enter the horizontal size of the box as 80 and press enter. Still holding the mouse button, enter the vertical size of the box as 80 and press enter. Let's move this square so that it is centered around the origin. Press the select button in the toolbar and select the four edges of the square using the control key. Press the move button. Select the green arrow and while dragging it towards left, enter 40 to move the box 40 millimeters. Select the red arrow and while dragging it down, enter 40 to move the box downwards 40 millimeters. To draw the 2D cylinder, press the circle button in the toolbar. Locate the center of the circle at the origin. While dragging the mouse enter the diameter as 1. You need to zoom in to see the circle, because it is much smaller than the square box. To convert this sketch into a surface, press the face curve button in the toolbox. A surface will be seen in the structure tree. Right click it and choose detach all. This will separate the surface into two, one is inside the circle and the other outside. Right-click the second surface, which is inside the circle, and delete it, because it is not a part of the fluid domain. Save the project. Exit space claim to go back to ANSYS workbench. Second step is to generate a mesh, which is dividing the problem domain into small elements. Double-click the mesh cell to open the meshing application. It may take some time to get it open and be ready. In the meshing application, first have a look at the domain vertically. Right click mesh in the project tree and select insert, and then sizing. To select the circle, choose the edge button in the toolbar. Select the circle. Press the apply button. Change the element size to 10 to the minus 5. The circle will be divided into segments of this size. Right click mesh again and select insert, and method. 
Select the problem domain and click the apply button. Change the method type to triangles. Press the generate button. A mesh of triangular elements will be generated. With smaller elements close to the circle and larger elements away from it. Select mesh in the outline to see that the mesh has about 6000 elements. Let's give names to the boundaries. Press the edge button in the toolbar. Select the left part of the square box. Right click and select create named selection. Name it as inlet. Select the right part of the square box. Right click and select create named selection. Name it as outlet. Using the control key select both the top and bottom parts of the square box. Right click and select create named selection. Name them as slip walls. Zoom in and select the circle. Right click and select create named selection. Name it as circle. The created named selections will be visible in the outline tree. Select them one by one and check whether correct boundary segments are highlighted or not. In case there is an error, delete and recreate them. Save the project. Close the meshing application and go back to the workbench. The lightning icon in the mesh cell says that it needs to be updated. Right click and update it. Double click the setup cell to launch Fluent. Check double precision to minimize round off errors. Fluent is a huge software with tons of menus and details. In the outline view, there are setup, solution, and results parts. In this simple tutorial, we will only change a few settings and not bother with many of the options. Problem physics is set using the options under the models part. We do not need to change anything here for this simple problem. Under materials, you will see that air and aluminum are the default materials. Double click air, and change its properties as defined in our problem. Press change create and close the window. Let's set the boundary conditions. Circle is already recognized as a no slip wall. Inlet is of type velocity inlet. Double click it. And set the velocity to 0.006 meter per second. Outlet is of type pressure outlet. Double click it. And see that the outlet pressure is set to zero gauge. Slip walls is of type wall. Double click it. And select specified shear. Both shear components are already zero. Double click reference values to set the ones that will be used in the drag coefficient calculation. Reference area is the projected frontal area of the cylinder. It is equal to diameter times the length of the cylinder. With the length being 1, for a 2D problem, reference area is equal to the diameter, which is 0.001 meter. Change the density of 1.2. Change the velocity to 0.006 meter per second. 
change the viscosity to 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Under solution, double click methods. And uncheck the pseudo transient option. Right click report definitions and select new force report and drag. Select circle to calculate the drag coefficient acting on it. Change the name to CD. Check report plot and print to console. Make sure that the drag force to be calculated is in the X direction. Right click initialization and select initialize. Double click run calculation. Set number of iterations to 1000. Press calculate. The iterative solution will start and the drag coefficient calculated after each iteration will be plotted. It will start from a very high value and gradually converge. The solution will finish in a few seconds after about 40 iterations. Now we need to post process the results.